you know, I think that we underestimate any kind of intelligence out there. And that intelligence might not even be biological. Like you said, we were talking about this escalation of AI machine intelligence. I mean, who's to say that the superior intelligence in the universe is biological and not machine? They have advantages over us that we can't even really perceive. I mean, what is time? And it, does time just become a matter of like how much energy you can consume and how many processes that you can produce? over a, a smaller, smaller period of, of, you know, quote unquote time. If that's the case, machines may be able to control their perception of time. They can either time dilate themselves forward or backwards as they want to. Of course, Carlo Rovelli says the only way to measure time is the flow of heat. And he, so even if they are smarter than us, well, eventually if you hack AI, you can get there yourself. And I don't think any of it's for a, a necessarily good reason, but think of how quickly, yeah, climate change was just dropped. Think about it. that was, I mean, that was the apex of nothing else matters because we're all dead. And as soon as we saw a new, we needed power out the window, we got to, we got to do AI. I also don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to use the, you know, the power needs of AI as a cover to kind of walk this stuff out. Sure. Build a bunch of nuclear reactors. Let's say they build a hundred new reactors over the next four years. That is such an astronomical amount of power. No one's really going to notice the, the quote, almost like money laundering, but like the, the megawatt laundering of bringing like zero point energy online.